Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Playframe and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Under Junon, where we fought a sea monster very badly. Well, we fought it reasonably well considering our loadout and the circumstances. Also, Yuffie is here. Certainly something, isn't she? Let's go find Yuffie. We need to get her into this party ASAP. Not just because I want to start learning how to play as her again, but also because I am eager to see her bouncing off of this group of characters. You. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you... I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but... Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow? Sweet! You won't be sorry. Promise. Later! <laughs> I'm so glad she ninja runs. I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. I do love this silly bunch. Didn't really notice that before, it's very large. Big fish. I haven't seen all the octopuses over here either. So many lovely details everywhere. Anyway. Let's just keep this main story going for a bit. Hey, if it isn't the heroes of the hour, I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? <laughs> uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? Thanks for the extra room. Our lab rat dog cat thing has been feeling a little sensitive about being treated like a dog cat thing lately. I could feel them slipping away one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, you seen them lately? <laughs> um, hello? Cloud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Red. Thought it was someone else. Nope. All clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Aerith, I see a weapon in there. Um, Red? Red, you care to explain what that was about? Yes. How's it going? This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. Hmm. Hmm, not good. Huh, not good. Thankfully, my ears are unaffected. I'll let you know if I hear anything unusual. Sounds good. I kind of figured that... Obviously, we didn't want to insult Red's sense of, like, smell. 
and ability to help us, nor did we want to downplay its importance. That seemed like the right way to go. I kind of like the... It's a little bit of a shame that they're timed, but <laughs> I do kind of like these as little, almost persona-like, what sort of answer will the uh, character want to hear? What'll be most helpful for them? <laughs> kind of helps you get to understand the character a little better. My poor nose. Your poor nose. Well, good talk, Red. Aerith, I really can't help but noticing that you have a weapon in there. Come in. I don't know about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Hmm. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that. Not with Sephiroth around. Hmm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? The church. Nope, you shoved a flower at me. I remember that first. You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at Seventh Heaven. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge, but next time. <laughs> Busted. Anyway. An impressive scepter. Well, you're welcome, Aerith. That's all yours. Any of the rest of you in here? I'm enjoying the hangouts. Barrett, Tifa. It's open. Hey, how we doing? Hey, so about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Um. Shinra bounties? Could be that she's after those Shinra bounties. <sighs> you know. You might be right about that. Little punk blowing smoke up our asses. Ought to give her a piece of my mind. Hmm. I feel like that wasn't the right one to answer. I think going with the autograph would be... Like, he'd see through that. <laughs> he would see that we were trying to butter him up. Her maybe wanting to join Avalanche I could see also being something he'd like to hear, but... Hmm. I wonder. I like these occasional scenarios where you are given the choice to kind of choose a quick response. Because it's not like, it's not a role-playing opportunity. I mean, it can be, I guess, if you want it to be, but they're not giving us these things, these options often enough for us to really like define Cloud in any way. And Cloud's already pretty well defined as a person. It's like more a quick pop quiz as to like, do you understand who this character is? This person you're talking to, do you understand what response would be most meaningful to them? Tifa? Which room's yours? There you are. Oh. Hey. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. 
Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? Hmm. The general store kid? The general store kid? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah. And what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. <sighs> was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Yeah, I really like the stuff that they're adding. Between these two especially. Given that they have... She especially has reason to be skeptical of him and what's going on with him. So, like, of course that would come up in their interactions over the course of this journey together. Think I'll turn in early tonight. That's fair. Anything else around here before I go into my room? Don't mind if I do. Boy. Could have used that yesterday. Oh well. Pretty nice room. Real cozy. Let's turn in. That's... Okay. Whatever helps you sleep. Welcome to my room, everyone. Okay, now that the gang's all here, it's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the Interim Wutai Government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with. <laughs> Ah, oh, she's great. Wu Tai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats? I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that way. I resent that. <laughs> 
Although, that is something we do. alone so far from home is expensive so I've been moving from town to town hustling scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man until that is I came here and lucky I did because I met Rhonda she offered me the gig of a lifetime an assassination and guess who the target is seriously guess <sighs> <sighs> just spit it out already who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out, Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this was fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> if you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> now, now! You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? A pain in the ass. Let's go. This is just getting better. <laughs> Uh, one, Yuffie's pretty perfect. Love that we've got her sort of in the group now. Two, love that she may not be stealing our money or whatever. <laughs> she would rob you in the original if you didn't answer her questions right when uh, you encountered her out in the wild. But I do love that she is still kind of betraying us on first impression. <laughs> and now we have a situation. <laughs> this should be fun. Aerith, can we get that staff equipped on you before things go a little too wild? I suspect they're going to pretty quickly. The Empress's Scepter, a historied staff once offered as a gift to Her Majesty, whoever that is. Conjure a ward, uh, Radiant Ward conjures a ward that grants invincibility while casting spells and strengthens Aerith's basic attack. That'd be great. Finish off an enemy with a standard attack launched from within the ward. Awesome. I will do that. And a new Materia slot, thank goodness. Maybe you should, um, use that lightning materia, huh? <laughs> Let's learn from our mistakes. And also, hmm, <laughs> lightning damage up, could do it. Ward duration increased, amount of MP restored with soul drain. Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, well, this should be entertaining. Give me a minute. I don't have my bike here, though. Just fair warning. Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? <sighs> That's my cue. Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by fate, the Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith Gainsborough. Uh, me? You come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. 
<laughs> you got some weird friends, man. It's true. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you, the slime ball who sold us out? Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. Hmm. Yuffie, we could... We could have coordinated... Fine. I feel like maybe we better take the opportunity to do some things out and about. Because once we go up top, I suspect that's going to keep us busy for a bit. All right. Anything I can do for you? <laughs> Didn't think you'd still be hanging around. Well, since you clearly don't have anything better to do, think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. I've already got a porter picked out, too. This here is Salmon. Hello, Salmon. Since he'll be the one making the drop, it's your job to get him there safe. Uh, doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, but who exactly is this money for? My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town. And never looked back. This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man can't be clinging to his mom's skirts or her pocketbook hmm uh, where's your son the crow's nest boy got sick of living under this steel sky and my thumb I suppose so he went into the mountains way east of here found some more like-minded idiots kind of sad if I'm being honest if you're gonna run away at least go somewhere interesting don't half-ass it uh the money, though? I meant what I said. Can't afford to take care of this town and his shit. I raised him best I could. Gave him every advantage. But he's gotta learn to stand on his own two feet. Sides, I've got someone else to take care of now. Don't I, Sam? Good dog. All right. Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward I promised. But if I find a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. You keep my boy safe. You got nothing to worry about. We will protect Good Dog. Probably came looking for Avalanche. What else do we need to do in this town before heading out? I'm guessing Crow's Nest, based on what I'm hearing here, might be the name of the folks at uh, Fort Condor, like maybe like their organization or base or something. Maybe. Maybe not. Anything else in this town, though? Oh, we got the bounty board. We should check on that. Which is... Uh, here we go. Yeah, one more. Calling all frogs from the frog master. Under Junin in Frog Gully. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Okay. I accept. This ought to be good. Alright, gang. Let's go. Hey, Salmon. You about ready to head out? There was another objective near here. I wonder if I... Hmm. The Frogmaster's down here. Where? Is that somewhere I can just go? Huh. Let me see if I can find that. I have to know what's going on. 
Nope. Might need to get there from inside town. Hang on, let me try. So if we were to head down here... Not out to see Priscilla, per se, but... Elevator's been shut down since shit hit the pan. To explore maybe in, like, this direction? Ooh. Well, that's something. Hey! Why not? For real, where's this frog thing, though? Um... Hello? Ribbit! Oh! Uh, hello? Whoa. Hey, what do you think you're doing here? This is a no-grown-up zone. Get lost! You're a kid? Well, duh. It's just how this place is. I don't know if it's because of the reactor out there or what, but hanging out here turns you into a frog. Hey, Finn, who are they? Not Shinra, I hope. Oh, no, we're definitely not. Oh, wait. You must be the ones Priscilla was talking about. She told me how you saved her. Right, that's us. We're friends. Are you a friend of hers, too? We're friends, but it's not like I like her or anything. Of course. It's just, there aren't a lot of other kids in the village, so I basically had to be your friend. <laughs> of course. So what are you kids doing all the way down here? Uh, playing Jump Frog, obviously. Actually, we could use a couple more players. Since you're here, do you want to give it a try? <laughs> yeah. Help us! Come on, Cloud. Ribbit? Tifa. <laughs> I tried to warn you. Like I said, hanging out here turns you into a frog. But don't worry. All you gotta do is start thinking like a frog, and you'll be fine. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> <sighs> what a good video game. So, um... Let's see what we can do here. Do we have the full gang of... There's Aerith, of course. Um, so, out of curiosity, if we were to change uh, crew... Is that allowed? Yes! Y'all get in here! We gotta see everybody! This must be... Ah, oh, there's red. Yep. Little feathers and a little orange... <laughs> little orange butt. And Barrett? Come on, Barrett, don't be shy. You're bigger than us, and you've got, like, a little arm thing. And sunglasses. <laughs> Game of the year. Just incredible. All right. Tifa, help me out with this. I have no idea what we're going to do. We have attacks. We have bubble breath. I don't... Gang, I don't know what our moves do. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be very good in this fight, y'all. We might need something that protects us from being a frog. What abilities do we have? Oh, leapfrog, of course. Jump high into the air, then crash down on an enemy. Well, you're the boss. It does pretty good. All right. Barret, do the same. Bonk. Tifa, you're up. This is ridiculous. I love it. I was saying earlier, these remakes are embracing the silly. Not only embracing, but amplifying. Cranking it up to 11. It's the best. <laughs> Good job, Frog Team. You did great. Q. 
Kids, there's no way that this is healthy. Thanks for that. So, ready to play? Come on, I love it. I promise. Ribbit? Ribbit. Okay, here are the rules. Incredible. Press circle to leap over incoming obstacles and dash to safety with either R2 or L3. Remain on the platform as long as you can to prove your amphibian finesse. Get knocked off though and you'll croak. Think you two can handle it? <laughs> All right. We got to try to last at least 30 seconds, a minute 20 if possible. Incredible. <laughs> Jump! Boing! Where are you going, gang? <laughs> I'm guessing it's going to start speeding up on us. Oh, careful there. Oh, the floor. We're starting to lose floor. Not good. Doing okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. 20 seconds more. Okay, oh no! <laughs> I didn't expect to get knocked off with such force. What do you think? It's pretty fun, right? Eh, I've played worse. Anyway, thanks again for your help. You can come back again if you want. You look like you were having fun. Rip it. <laughs> I could get used to it. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> hey! Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> what a good bunch of idiots we are. Huh. <laughs> For real, kids, this is definitely going to have long term health ramifications. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, come on. This looks like... You can't just have a sign like that and then... Nah, come on. I'll have to come back and beat my... Frog high score later. Just one little nibble, and I'd hook him quicker than a minnow can swim a dipper. Not to interrupt, but I see that you play cards. Oh, well, would you look at that? I finally hooked a catch, and a good one, too. Sir, I'm already I involved in a pretty complicated love triangle. Out of the water, just because I'm getting on in years, hmm? Well, think again. I'm this town's ace angler, Zogan. And I've caught much bigger QB fish than you, Sonny. I tell you that much. What? You young'uns can thrash all you like, but you'll never beat my years of experience. I'm starting to get lost in the metaphor, but you're on. Oof, got smoked. Hang on, I can do better. Boy. Shiva just took that match over at the end there. Good to know to watch out for that, though. Apparently those cards Shiva spawns in only are worth two each, which 
is not bad, but I probably could have, uh, I pretty much controlled the board by the time I used it, so I could have probably done a lot better. Regardless, smoked him. Goodness me, this makes you the one that got away. Serves me right for looking down on you just because you're young. Queen's blood is a lot like fishing, you know? Gotta be patient, wait for the right moment, then reel them in. Time it wrong, and you'll be watching your victory swim away. <sighs> Just look what happened to me. Guess I had a bigger catch on my hands than I thought. <sighs> I should have been more careful. I guess so. What a good card game. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Squire. Thank you. As such, I have information that may be of interest. A talented player by the name of Cameron is looking for opponents within the Crow's Nest. I believe that you would find him to be a suitable challenge. Perhaps you ought to seek him out. I guess that will be a thing for me to do once I finish escorting a dog out there. Good to know that's the general area it's in, though. All right. Come, team. We have a dog to escort. Ooh, but first, folios. We did level up our party as a whole. That's probably unlocked some new things. Hey there, looking to augment your folios? I hope so. We don't have a lot of SP, but I'd love to see what sort of new things we might have access to. Oh boy, there's a lot. Lots of good stuff. But since we can't get any of it right now, <laughs> I guess we'll examine more later. Come back soon. Salmon, wait up. Sorry about that, Salmon. We had to be frogs for a minute. You understand. Follow Salmon. Don't you worry. Any monster that wants to get you is gonna have to go through me. Lead on, dog. Hey, Cloud, remind me. How old were you when you left home? 14. Wait, it was spring, so 13. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small town boys like you. What'd your mom have to say? Not much. Didn't try to stop me. Like you said, nothing unusual about it. But. But. 2,000 gil. She offered me that. To make a fresh start. <laughs> Guess moms are the same all over. I turned the money down, though. Didn't need it, since I was planning to enlist straight away. <laughs> But you still can't help setting your price at two grand. Sentimental, ain't you? I like that. Yeah, Salmon, we're here. We got you. Protect the dog. Let's do this. No more. Try this. There we go. Lead the way, dog. Kind of seems like maybe we could be the one delivering this. But I suppose we shouldn't move in on this dog's courier business. You are getting paid, right, dog? I got gotcha. you. Probably better scan that thing, huh? Maybe both That's of them. Good, right. All right, weak to ice, inflicting enough damage during wing beat will pressure it. Okay. If I scan these, I did. Great. Aerith, you've got a new skill you need to use, so let's uh use Radiant Ward, which... Grants invincibility while casting spells and strengthens basic attacks, which so we really ought to just get one of these placed at the start of every fight from now on. This one's for you. I think we're almost done. Good night. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Definitely a thing to do. Sorry, but I gotta have some ice. 
Don't catch a cold. Stop it. Blizzard. Gotcha. That's a good ability for Aerith. That feels like a... Like, real foundational one for her kit. You get that ward placed so her basic attacks are stronger. Get the other ward placed on top of it, if that's allowed. Okay, hear me out. What? Know how some parents stop their kids from leaving the nest, claiming it's too soon or they're not ready? Any excuse to keep them at home. What about it? Loads of parents are like that, but I told myself I'd be different. I'd never keep my little girl from flying. I don't want to clip her wings. I want her to soar. <laughs> I hear you scoffing. You think I can't do it? You think I'll keep her all to myself? Oh, yeah. And that's what scares me. As much as I want to let her fly, I don't know if I'll be able to let go when the time comes. Maybe I'll panic, get in the way, hold her down, all to keep her safe. Oh, Marlene, I wish you could be my baby girl forever. Barret's great. And these side quests are great, too. The fact that they're just giving us opportunities to hang out with and get some more character moments for all the uh, rest of our crew. Oh, boy. It's on you. Leave it to me. Take All right, Aerith, let's keep working on your stuff. So you can get Radiant Ward placed. Don't worry. The planet disappointed. Okay. We will keep doing damage with this. We'll get oop, blown away by wind. But then after that, stop it. I'm trying to place another ward thing. Arcane ward here. Door here. Fine, 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 fine. Be that way. I'm hitting you with ice, though. You deserve it. And now I can warp between these two, because that's her whole ability. I guess that's kind of cool. Warp. As soon as it lets me. There we go. Get hit by ice. Or... That's also... Okay. This is... Camera-wise, not really working out for me. Aerith, we'll practice this later. There we go. Goodness. Dog, there you are. Lead the way. Because I've definitely not been out here yet. So I'm kind of lost. Hey, dog, maybe don't be running too far ahead. I've been made responsible for you. Take the lead. Ready? All right, Aerith, we gotta figure this out. So. Eh, not really what I needed, but this will at least keep the enemies off me, hopefully. Because if they attack me, in theory, they should get stopped. By this little shield thing. So now, I can place... Arcane Ward here. Eh, probably should have started with the other one. I'll just add a hotkey for that. A little more, and then... Okay. Radiant Ward, right here. Yeah, so, like, she needs a little time to get kind of, like, warmed up, get her whole situation, like, set up, but... Yeah, she's real strong, though. And we are... Really hurting out here, gang. Can we get some cures going, maybe? Thank you. Yeah, why not? I feel like I'm not getting any further proficiency with her weapon, though. Am I? Well, a little bit. Finish off an enemy with a standard attack launch from within the ward. Right. Okay, I guess it's just hard to do that without these other goofballs killing the enemy first. We'll make it work. Actually, let me go ahead and add that as a shortcut, just so it's a little faster. So for, like, Aerith... Yeah, I'd much rather have the other ward there. Because we got, like, her... close-by AoE effect, like, attack, her 
single target attack that also drains MP, and these two wards, which we can kind of both place. Like, those seem like good ones to have on hotkeys there. Figuring it out. Thanks for waiting, dog. Oh, my sweet baby girl. What now? Your daddy. Your silly daddy. He's gonna... He's gonna fail you. Oh, I can't let you go. I just can't. Barrett, get your shit together. Marlene's barely out of diapers. You've got time. Right, right. I'm just getting worked up over nothing. Yeah, she won't be leaving me for a while. Then again... Hey! Cloud, be nice. Don't scare Barrett. <laughs> He's working through a lot of emotions right now. You could learn a thing or two, frankly. Anyway. Sorry about that, Salmon, but thanks for waiting. Sorry you took a little damage there in the previous fight, I guess. Maybe I should work on learning Aerith skills once we're not on duty. Not now, Owl. Whoa. Yipes. Hmm. Ooh. Detrimental status effects. Petrify and stone. You've been petrified. Taking a certain amount of damage while in this state will turn you to stone, rendering you incapacitated. Avoid damage till the status wears off or cure the ailment with Asuna, remedies, or other spells or items with similar effects. Good to know. Who got hit? Oh, Cloud did, of course. Cloud, let's avoid damage for a bit, huh? Take the lead. Red. Get in there. Well, this is a little intimidating. Place one of these. Mess them up and Cloud, you should assess these. It's your turn. Take over. My turn. Assess. Sandstorm Drakes. Go. All right. Weak to wind. Good to know. Attacking the aura that shrouds it will produce tornadoes. The aura will weaken with each tornado spawned, and once it's vanished, the drake will become pressured. Attacking it from behind will weaken the aura without creating tornadoes. Which sounds like the smart way to go about things. Please stop creating tornadoes or whatever you're doing. All right. Wind current. Do something wind-like on these things. One more shot. Aerith, you've got wind stuff and need to place some more of these down. There we go. Okay. Use some wind materia. I beg you. Arrow. On. That one. Very good. What abilities do you have on hand? Firebolt, not going to work great. Wind current, current could. Eh, let's stick to some more basic attacks, I think. Get him. You're up. Yeah. Now. Come on. Hey, we got one pressured. Great. Good, 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 good. Red, mess it up. It's on the ground. Get in vengeance mode, quick. And mess this thing up. Good. Take over. So it's my turn. Okay. Sorry about that. It's pressured. Good. A synergy ability. Hmm. Save up for United Refocus. I haven't seen that one yet, and I'd like to hit it with arrow in the meantime. Can you take over? I got it. One more. It's dead. Feeling alright, dog? Glad to hear it. Salmon, are we almost there? Ooh. 
That's something. Sam! What are you doing here? <laughs> Came all this way and you're still full of energy. Uh, do I know you? We're Sam's bodyguards. Your mom hired us to keep him safe. And to make sure her boy got his allowance. Keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? Claire, what are you doing out of bed? You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. Got her stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. Uh, Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. That's true. We'll take it. Dilster, was looking for you, dude. Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on, aren't these guys with Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. Oh, Avalanche? Wait, you mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's, uh, situation seems to be taken care of? Yep, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. Count me in. Excellent. Where are we now? Oh. It's a whole other, like, little town region spot. Neat. The crow's nest. All those willing to Man, fight you make Carinos are something else. When I saw you on the news, I was blown away. Tell me all about yourself. And here you are, lending me a hand. It's literally a dream come true. Very curious to learn more about all these folks. They seem like a new addition. So, here's the situation. There's this big lighthouse down by the Cape, and someone calling themselves the Merc of Junon has turned it into their hideout or something. Oh boy. Curie. Oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? Sorta. What are the chances? I don't know about you, but I think fate brought us together. Anyway, that place has got a killer view. We used to go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that merc to help us out. Well, I'll try. Don't expect much, though. What do you know about the merc, out of curiosity? They've done many a good deed in Midgar and all throughout the grasslands. Mm. Allegedly, that is. And like, if they're so good at doing good, then why aren't they doing anything now? Finally, someone asking the right questions. Tell me about the lighthouse. The lighthouse is up ahead, right on the Cape. Apparently, it used to guide ships back in the Republic days, but that was like forever ago. Anyway, it's super out of the way and crawling with monsters. Anyone who thinks customers will come calling is out of their mind. All right, I'm in. Yo, you're the best. You know, I just knew I could count on you. So, you gonna help or me? You can sniff out trouble. <laughs> I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. Oh, pro tip. If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill too. You might even catch a glimpse of the Great Condor if you're lucky. Ooh. If you're into that kind of stuff. I am, I think. One way to find out. Let's poke around. I have a friend in Avalanche. Well, acquaintance. 
is interesting. So it seems to be like a small time resistance group that's sort of formed out here from the folks who are not happy. Basically, Junin's equivalent, smaller equivalent of Avalanche. And if they're not the Fort Condor group, they've got to be affiliated at least. Interesting. What's for sale? I'll take it. All of them. Any new, like, weapons or, hey, cards? Sure. Everything else looking pretty similar, though. New people to play cards against? I feel like I saw some new symbols around here that I didn't entirely recognize. That Like the music one. What's... And a piano? And a notice board. There's stuff to do out here, clearly. Let's go ahead and get started on that tomorrow, I think. Thank you all very much for... I think I'll hang out with this group for a little while and uh, see you all tomorrow for some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Take care and goodbye!